Now let's talk about one of the potential pitfalls or dangers of dream work in general, but I guess for this case, more specifically, dream incubation, and that is, can you attract evil with the practice? And you most certainly can, I mean, without a doubt, right? Anything goes in the world of dreams. And if you start nurturing and searching for these really type of negative evil, I guess for lack of a better term, um, experiences, that can really have an effect on growing stronger in that realm than even leaking out into your waking life as well. Like it makes me think of metta or like the love and compassion style of meditative work where, you know, if you're practicing on generating these feelings of love and compassion, it actually becomes easier with like neuroplasticity to strengthen that pathway and generate those feelings of love and compassion, you know, just in your waking life or life in general. But in the same sense, if you start practicing on being angry and pissed off all the time in your waking life, it's kind of like a meditative practice right there and you're strengthening that neural pathway there so then it can actually lead to you being more easily pissed off and angry just in your regular everyday to day life. So that's something to keep in mind. It also writes in here how you can look at it as really trying to nurture this relationship with the mystery or subconscious mind or some spiritual figure outside of you and you really want that to be a positive relationship, right? Not just some negative relationship with like Satan or however you want to think about it. So some things to keep in mind there.